Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Well, I know what you're saying. It's about time I'm posting a video. It's been a couple weeks. I usually do one a week, but I've been tied up with my IFR training um, with safety pilots and my instructor, Mike. Uh, we just did a long cross country from Orange County to Nantucket um, and all the way down the minimums in Nantucket. We were IMC pretty much the whole entire three hour trip. So that was an awesome experience. So I've been doing a lot of that. Um, I did not film anything yet with my IFR um, training, uh, but I did talk to Mike and we agreed to do a, at least one video of IFR instructions and now be in, in the near future. Um, as of right now, uh, my Mooney 6887 November is at Moyer Aviation getting its yearly inspection, the annual inspection. Uh, I know any tires on it, that's they're kind of old. So that was the only thing I think I have to pay for besides the annual on extras. So we'll see what the final bill is. You never know on an annual inspection what the bill might be. Uh, I don't like surprises, but it is what it is, right? When you have toys, you gotta pay for them. So, and we gotta be safe when we're flying. So I don't mind paying for stuff that needs to get fixed on the airplane. Uh, but June 12th, folks, don't forget June 12th of this year, 2021. Most people are pretty much vaccinated, I guess, uh, whoever does that. Um, so things are kind of softening up around New York and so on and so forth around the country. So June 12th is going to be my flying at Orange County Airport in junction with Orange County Pilot Pilot Association and also East Coast Pilot uh, Pilots. So look at that as well. And that's June 12th, 11 to 3. 11 to 3, come on out to Orange County, New York. Not Orange County, California. Everybody thinks, some, some of the viewers thinks Orange County, California. It's Orange County, New York. Mike Off Juliet is the identifier. Uh, we're going to have giveaways, 50-50s, hamburgers, hot dogs, side dishes, so on and so forth. Uh, we're going to have a live band It's going to show up. Um, and we have a tent for about 40 people with chairs. So please bring your old folding chair if you're flying in or driving in. Um, as of right now, we have about 140 uh, reservations, um, RSVPs, I should say. Uh, so go to rsvpflyin at gmail.com and please let me know um, if you're flying in or driving in, how many passengers you have in your tail number. Uh, we're do gonna have a case of oil giveaway from oil outlets and uh, aviation oil outlets, I should say. Um, so we're gonna need the, you know, what airfield you came from. And of course, whoever flew in the shortest gets a free oil change for a single engine airplane from Moyer Aviation. Of course, the other sponsors we have, we have more giveaways and uh, stuff like that. So it should be a fun time. Uh, June 13th is a rain date, same time, 11 to three. So hopefully you guys can join us. Uh, please RSVP. Um, again, a lot of planes are coming in. Things will be updated on my Facebook page at Pilot Fun 101. So check out the Facebook page under events. And that's when all the updates will happen. So I did have a couple of videos in the hopper. I finally got a chance to edit a couple of them and check this one out. See you guys. Folks, welcome back. Um, I don't have this camera facing me today because it won't stick because it's cold out. It's early here at Orange County Airport, uh, about 30, 26 degrees outside. Um, so, uh, looking at my face today. But I'm going to take uh, Chris, who has another Mooney, over to Robbinsville, the Mooney dealer, uh, Mooney uh, service station out there. Uh, I'm going to go there. He's already over by 2.6. And uh, we'll get that going today. We have a lot of things going on today. We got to come help him out this morning. We're going to come back and uh, hang out at the airport a little more and go over to Sky Acres. And then I have some IFR training later on in the day. Probably for about three hours or so, four hours. A lot of flying in today, for sure. Look at the weather. Automated weather observation 1138 Zulu. Wind calm. Visibility 1 0. Sky condition clear. Temperature minus 0 4 Celsius. Dew point minus 0 6 Celsius. Altimeter 3 0 5 6. Remarks. Okay, sounds good. 
Okay, I'm gonna do the checklist here, and I'll be right back with you guys. Checklist is complete. Get that ready to go, and I'm gonna send my flight plan to the IFD 540, and we're gonna send to the panel here. It's sending flight plan, and it should be in there, and we're gonna go to route. Oops, wrong button. Out, and we're gonna take the uh, MGJ to November 87, and then we're good to go. go go back to map we're good there I'll put this on display on full we're not in anybody's airspace so we're gonna go right over there we have to go under actually New York at 3,000 um, so we have to probably go around that or get flight following hey Chris you want to go around the, the uh, Delta or do you want to go uh, straight through under uh, 3,000 or get flight following uh, I figured I was going to go Solberg. Uh, that keeps us outside of the Bravo, and uh, we can probably go at like 4,500 or whatever you prefer. Perfect. Uh, I'm set for 45, and whenever you're ready to go, let's do it. All right. Uh, Orange County, Mooney, departing runway 26, Orange County. Okay. I'm going to follow him. I'm going to put in uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 for the talk around, too. Yeah, gotcha. Once we get out of here, I'll be on that frequency as well. Hey, strobes, camera light, action. We are good. Everything's in the green. We're going to rotate at 60 knots. Everything's in knots now. In Orange County traffic, uh, Mooney is a number. Well, I'm waiting on 26. Following the Mooney out. We have fuel pumps coming on, laying light is on, strobes are on, it's flat for 15, we're trim for takeoff. Got birds, of course, exactly at. He's off the ground, let's roll. Alright, we're full power, right, rudder? And we departing 26 Orange County. 50, 60, rotate. Now get that gear up. The gear is locked. And we're moving along pretty good. We're going to be flaps are coming up. And we're trying traffic. Uh, movie number two, the partner pattern to the northwest. See you later. Flaps up, gear is up. Pull the power back a little bit here. Hey Chris, you on? Two, three, four, five. Yeah, I'm here. Okay, I'm right behind you. I'm gonna get over to your right side around your five o'clock. We'll do a little more formation flight if you like. Yeah, go for it, sounds good. Traffic, 11 o'clock, same altitude, less than one mile. Fuel pump's coming off, land light's coming off. I'm at your five o'clock. I see it, looking good. Trying to slow down here a little bit. <laughs> I'm gonna pass you. Speed up some too. I'm 
going to do a 23 over 24. I'll match. Perfect morning to fly, man. No winds, nice weather. Now his plane has a 200 horse. Full injected. We might have to put a little more power in to keep up with him. Same, uh, uh, short body. Okay. Traffic, 10 o'clock, same altitude, less than one mile, level. Smile. <laughs> Traffic, I'm smiling 9 o'clock, same altitude, <laughs> less than one mile, climbing. Oh, this is a beautiful day to fly, for sure. I had a lot of issues with the the um, suction cups this morning, so I can't even get him on video right now on that side. It's okay, there's always next time. on the camera because uh, the sun is right there. Oh yeah, I got a better shot of you. And once we level off at altitude, we'll switch over. Yeah, I'm climbing through 3,400. Same here, we gotta turn a little bit to the right though. Copy that. How is she flying? Good? Yeah. Yeah, not bad today at all. It's, uh, it's a beautiful day, nice and smooth. Yeah, for once. Yeah, you're my good luck charm. Every time I fly with you, it's a beautiful day. <laughs> Pennsylvania to our 3 o'clock, and we're actually in New Jersey, uh, no, we're still actually in New York, uh, almost in Jersey. Approaching altitude. Okay, 200 feet reminder. Okay, Chris, leveling off 4,500. Same here. So, oh, it's a Bravo, not the Delta. Did I say Delta last time? It's a Bravo airspace we don't want to go through. Okay. I tell you, Boonies, I know it's like uh, I have one, so I can't talk too much bad about them. But really, honestly, there's nothing really bad to talk about them, but they look awesome in the air. With the gear up, with the tail, even on the ground, they look really cool. Got to say, what a nice airplane. Yeah, I'm 23, 24 and a half, um, and we're keeping up on them pretty good. Get down a little bit. Uh, what's your heading going to be? Sorry, 
ahead and turn on the autopilot here. Uh, we're going to be going about 215. Yes, sounds good. I wish I had autopilot. Yeah, I just heard there was a setback for the C models. They either, they're testing it on the J or something, and it's not qualifying. Yeah, there's a story behind it. Um, they believe that they'll get it approved with the J, with the with the mid body. It's, a, it's the mid body and the uh, short body. So uh, they're going to try to do it under one package with the FAA. We'll see what happens. Oh, good. I thought, I thought it was dead in the water. That sounds great, then. Nope, not yet. Yeah, so. Uh, so no, Dynan had some setbacks with the uh, the FAA on the uh, Mooney. Uh, not really on the Mooney, but on the Bonanza. They're supposed to certify, I guess, a package deal. And uh, ever since the Max accidents, the FAA kind of changed. Um, so it's really don't certify one airplane for all the other models. The autopilot. So they're working on a couple things behind the scenes, and we'll see what happens. Uh, we'd love to have autopilot. It's just, you know, an autopilot, a nice cross, long cross country, it's great to have because you can really focus, uh, you know, with ATC, if you're an IMC, if you're doing an IFR flight plan, if you're doing A, B, and C, and it's nice to have the autopilot take that kind of off your shoulders in a way. I'm not saying you can't, you know, you have to not stop looking out the window unless you're an IMC, obviously, but it takes a lot off your shoulders because uh, you can, you know, it's because you really have to keep looking. Heading, altitude, heading, altitude, heading, altitude. If you're in some turbulent air, it could be a pain in the butt to go over approach, go over a chart, approach plate. You're in turbulent air, you can't see, you're trying to maintain a heading, you know, and your altitude, and uh, you, it's, you have to keep going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So uh, it's nice to have the autopilot to kind of take that part of it away from you. So, uh, yeah, I'm 23 over 24.4 right now. Uh, I ended up at 22 and 23,700. Nice. That's that 200 horse, man. Yeah, she's useful for a few things. <laughs> it's nice in these planes to be able to go this fast without having to push our engines, though. Very true. Now look at that city off to your left. That's a nice view, too. Oh, I just snapped a few pictures. It's beautiful. And you can see so far beyond it, too. It's severe VFR today. <laughs> No, no, dude, I'll turn this camera on. Fell off the window. Now I'm going to see if I could, uh, him for you guys a little bit. Here he is. That look cool. I mean, the sun's probably blocking a little bit of your view. Oh, what an awesome picture there! Look at that. Awesome, awesome, right? Okay, enough pictures for now. What else is going on, guys? Anything? We got some traffic, 1,000 feet below, 19,000 above. That's uh, a jet. Don't worry about him. But I got nothing else going on. We have the, the fly in June 12th. Don't forget about that if you're in the area, if you want to fly in. Hopefully, it's a day like today. It'd be awesome if it is. If not, um, uh, we have a rain date of the uh, 13th of September. Over 100 airplanes already. Um, a spot. So uh, if you uh, have not reserved a spot yet, uh, RSVP at RSVPLion at gmail.com and uh, we'll get you in. Oh, it should be a good time. I hope it, last year was a good success. 
uh, on the flying, so we're excited to do it again. We're in New Jersey, um, and uh, we're headed to Robbinsville. Bill. Um, so I did in the flight plan at home with the with the, with the uh, four flight, which is a direct. It's direct anyway, so it's not even a big deal. You can go on the plane and hit direct, but it's nice to do an IFR flight plan or a VFR flight plan if you're hitting points, whatever. You boom, get in your plane, send it to the, the panel here, and it's all ready to go for you. Um, so what is it? Uh, for November one. Let's go into information. Uh, for November one. For November one. That's my nearest. I'm sorry. November eight seven. Uh, while I'm watching him. Uh, November eight seven. Okay. November eight seven. Trenton Robinsville. Robinsonville. So that's good. Unicom is. No, uh, oh, same like everybody else is down here. One two three zero zero. I don't have any weather. Uh, I don't think so. No. Winds are calm, so we'll probably use. But imagine eleven. Oh, eleven is this way. Uh, probably two nine. Hey Chris, what runway you think in uh, two nine? Yeah, the winds were light and variable when I called, but they were in favor of 2-9, so sure. Cool. Well, I guess we'll expect that then. Yep. Uh, Chris is a really, really cool guy. Um, good pilot. Fun to hang out with. Knowledgeable. Just got that. Is that I think I, I believe that's his... Right traffic for 2 nine. He just got that plane. I think it's his first plane he bought. I'm not 100% sure. I believe that's his first plane that he bought, and he loves it. Needed some work, like everything else, but he get it up to snuff, and planes are awesome. Oh, we're going to uh, November 8, 7, 45 nautical miles out, 19 minutes, and... Uh, Staying out of the Bravo, which we are, and um, got my CO detector on. Got plenty of fuel on board. What do we use so far? Let's take a peek. We've been running for about 30 minutes. 44.4 gallons on board. You use four gallons. I can actually, I can actually uh, uh, I pull the mixer back a little more, but that's fine for now. And we've been in the, I'm sorry, in the air. I'm sorry, the trip time is 36 minutes. Air time is 18. And the run time we've been running so far is 30 minutes. So in the air for 18 right now. On the panel here, camera's on here. It is a little close up for you. That's what the I was just doing on the engine monitoring on that side. The backup, which I actually finally remember to put the barometer in that. I wish they would sync it together, but that's okay. And then the IFD 540, the SL 30. I'm um, awesome. I'm gonna give you another display over here. And the traffic is him, and he's right over there. And then I have this screen set on just a map. Um, and this side, when I, when I hit uh, display and I go full, I have this screen on my display. And when I go full on this side, I have the map. That's how I programmed it. And it's easy to change it. So if I go to display, go PDF, PFD, I'm sorry, it, it splits it up.
So if you take the PFD off, go full screen, you're going to get map on that side. I like that. And that's my iPad, and this is CO detector, digital, which is nice too. And this is my SL30, I don't know if I just said that or not. The auto panel, of course, so. And the, um, the uh, autopilot hard keys is supposed to go here. This is the hard keys now for the heading, barometer, and altimeter. The altitude, I'm sorry. Uh, so nice system overall for sure, nice panel. I love this plane, it's awesome. There's nothing better than flying when it's calm, you're flying with a good friend in a same airplane, for a little formation flight, nothing crazy, and it's beautiful out, it's beautiful. Oh, this is what I like to do. So this is set for a half an hour. Switch tanks I have set in the IFD 540. And if I go to uh, display here and I go to engines, you'll see we'll be running for a half an hour. So that's pretty really accurate, obviously, here. And we'll get to switch tanks. Go back to full, though, here. We're going to switch tanks. Um, we, we could glide. Oh, underneath us, there's a lot of fields. So, you know, we could definitely... A pick a field uh, if we lose the engine. I, when I switch tanks, unless I can't, I like to see if I'm close to an airport that I can glide to, um, and or if there's fields I can land on. Um, if you know, sometimes you're fly if you're doing mountain flying, it is what it is. Nothing you can do about it. But if you have an opportunity, Dave, you up yet? An opportunity to land by an airport or at an airport and or in a field or even a highway. Um, switch tanks then, if you have the opportunity, uh, if you have that um, available to you. If you don't have available to you, just switch tanks and uh, hopefully there's no issues. I'm going to flip switch tanks right now. The fuel pump's coming on, and we're going to switch to my side. Alright, we'll put, the, put this back on. Okay, so everything here, we got fuel pressure 17, we're good with fuel pressure, everything's in the green, so let's pull the, the fuel pump off and see what happens here. And it dropped a little bit, obviously. We're still good. Everything's running smoothly. 123, 00 frequency is a bunch of airports in this area that they use the same one. traffic yet. It's early. It's only um, 8 o'clock in the morning. Um, so, uh... Gotta change the time, actually. Just notice this. This is still an hour behind, but we had the clock still an hour and a head. So I gotta change that. Um, but, uh... Doing 134 knots-ish. A calm winds. Very, very slight. Uh, very, very slight. Maybe a four-knot bit of a crosswind component. Uh, so we're doing, this plane, like, again, flies pretty pretty fast. We have low power center. We're at 73% uh, percent power. Um, and Somerset traffic, sky high, the true airspeed is 141. The ground speed is 137 knots. And I actually kept it, I, I kept it on... I kept the miles. Traffic, kept the miles per hour on the on the backup. Final uh, so I'm doing, we're doing 156 miles per hour. We're at 4,500. Gotcha. There's some traffic out there. It's some targets. Two eight three eight miles out south southwest. Three thousand feet inbound landing two five. Blair's down. Blair's towns on this frequency. So now we can basically go direct to um, our destination. We're out of the Bravo. We never got into the Bravo, but we wanted to stay out of it. Might get some of his uh, prop wash here if I get, if they get out from behind them. <laughs> we can go direct, actually, to the destination. Hey Chris, we're going to clear the Bravo now. Do you want to go direct? Yeah, sounds good. Okay, we're going to go direct. I think it's about a 183 heading. Someone says traffic three miles out for 45 downwind for 
Somerset. I found out, I don't, I forgot what autopilot he has. I gotta find out what he has. Uh, you know, the, it's not an issue, but yeah, it is an issue. If uh, the Dynon had an issue with the short bodies, um, they'll eventually get it approved, eventually, but it might be delayed. If they can't get it for whatever reason, you know, you never know, right? Um, this airplane is designed for Dynon. So I don't have any more room to put another autopilot in it. I mean, I, I could, I could, I could change maybe some things around uh, if I had to. Um, we're trying not to do that. We're trying to get that approved and uh, move on. Chris, I'm probably going to start a slow descent. Yeah, I'm with you, bud. Flare stop traffic, Cherokee left out with 2-5, flare stop. 3,500. Yeah, we're 20, mi we're 20 miles out, 23, two miles out, I guess here. Uh, so I'll I'll slow back. So you, you want to go in first? That'd be fine. Uh, 45 down. Sounds good. He's he's smart. He knows to slow down and start your descent slow with 20 miles out because. That's what you have to do in a Mooney. Unless you have spree ba spree, uh, speed brakes. <laughs> we're going to put the laying light on. I know we're 20 miles out, but we're going to put the laying light on. There's some traffic in the area. Nothing crazy, but uh, we'll, we'll put that on. Everything else is looking good. We go down to 3,500. Traffic pattern altitude is 1,200. Trenton Robinsonville. Uh, so that's good. What, what approaches do they have there? Uh, plates. Oh, they have um, our navs. Somerset traffic, midfield, downwind for 3 zero, Somerset. Hey, well, everything's looking good. Flare stop traffic, Cherokee base to final. Somerset traffic, final for 3-0, Somerset. Uh, three miles out to the south and down for 2-1 at Warwick. Oh, you heard Warwick. You heard Warwick Airport, Blairstown, and Wings. Plus you're going to hear Robinsonville, if anybody's in there or not. Oh, you, you heard Monmouth. Oh, right there's four. It's already talking on the one two three zero zero the four airports. Wind traffic Pilot is seven miles east. Uh, we're straight in at zero six wind traffic. On a nice day, a nice VFR day. This channel's jammed. Wind traffic blue at Archer nine four nine Golf on a six miles straight in for runway two four. We're going to circle behind that flat at runway six wind traffic. It's bug twelve hundred is a pattern altitude. Keep our descent slowly. He's still out there, um, about a almost a mile. All right traffic two nine, left traffic eleven. That's probably what we're going to do, actually. So we're making a nice turn. Let's go midfield right down with nine. We got the bay. Chris, I'm going to switch over frequencies. Copy that. I'll come in behind you. All right. All right. And Robinsonville came up on the IFD. And uh, we're going to be good here. The Lang lights on, strobes are on. We are good. We're not ready to do gumps yet. Very, very soon, actually. To slow down, give him time to get in. Airport should be at our 12. Um, so we got to find that. It's hard to find this airport.
In Robbinsville traffic, uh, Moody 8, 7 member is about 7 miles out uh, to the north to be inbound uh, for 2-9, Robbinsville. Traffic, Blue White Archer, turning base, runway 6, please. We are five and a half, uh, about six out now. Um, we're just cruising on down. We'll stay right here for now. We'll stay around 1800 until we get a little bit closer. The power pulled back nicely. I'm in gear speed. Almost, not quite. Robinsville traffic cap, 2941 Skyline, taking the active 29. I'll be at northeast, northbound departure, Robinsville. Penridge Uniform, Penridge Unicom, Penridge Unicom. Any jumpers in the air, Penridge? Robinsville traffic, Louie, you're going to be entering a uh, right downwind for 29 on a 45. 29, Robinsville. Airspace ahead. Penridge Unicom, any jumpers in the air, Penridge? No jumpers in the air. Okay, thank you, sir. And Robbinsville traffic have another Moody inbound about four miles out from the uh, west. Correction from the north. Robbinsville. Oops. I just want to make sure I see him. He still have him in sight. It's on my screen. Blue White Archer is flying the fire to the northeast. Final call, one shot. Three miles out. I don't see the airport yet. It's there. <laughs> Guarantee you it's there somewhere. This lines up perfect. Compass lines up with the HSI. We're almost basically facing south. And there's somebody departing, 2-9, so we got to pay attention to that. I don't have the airport yet. Oh, is that it? No. Let's slow down more. Oh, that is it. Approaching altitude. Robbinsville traffic. Uh, Mooney is downwind now for 2-9. Number 2 to land. Robbinsville. Hey, gear speed. Robbinsville traffic. Mooney, right base, 2-9. Robbinsville. Gas. Undercarriage. We got to put the mixture in. And prop in. And we'll throw in some flaps. Midfield. Robbinsville traffic. Booty number two is midfield right down with 2 9. Robbinsville number two. Okay. A little high. Robbinsville traffic. Booty on the final 2 9. Robbinsville. Okay, looking good. Gas, undercarriage, mixture, prop, speed. We're going to watch. We got flaps down. Now it's getting hot. Turn that heat off. Whew! Somerset traffic left cross one for runway 30, Somerset. Okay, he's landing there. Good. Robbinsville traffic, uh, Mooney number two, is turning right base for a 2 9. Robbinsville, number two. Flaps can go full, flaps are full. Airspace ahead. Airspace ahead. Robinsville traffic, Mooney, clear of 2-9. Airspace ahead. Robinsville traffic, Mooney turning final, 2-9. Full stop, Robinsville. Airspace ahead. 
Okay, 500. gear check. Gear check again. Looking good. Traffic midfield downwind three zero Somerset. On the glide, looking good, eighty five. Red white. Check one more time, good. Seventy. Nice, we'll take that. Bounty runway a little bit here. Save the brakes, no rush. No rush, we'll save the brakes. All right, made it to Robbins, Trenton, Robbinsville. In New Jersey. And uh, we're going to pick up Chris, go back to Orange County Airport. Where did he go? And when he clear today. Okay, flaps up. Picture coming out. Let's see, see where he went. Doing pumps coming off. Alright guys, we're going to pick him up. Go back to Orange. And I'm going to go to Sky Acres at some point. Like always guys, thank you again for flying along with me. I appreciate that. If like what I'm doing, subscribe to the channel. And uh, I'm on Facebook also, at Pilot Under One, Instagram. And you can check me out on those sites as well. Next time, folks, fly safe, be safe. See you on the next one.